What's up everyone? Hey, uh, today I got a video showing you we're going to go from a Topcon GC3 file to a Trimble Cal file. Um, I've got another video that shows you going the other way from a Cal file to a GC3. This will get you going back the other way. Um, you know, just putting this out here, um, you know, this is probably not the only way to do this. If you know a faster, easier, better way. Obviously, leave it in the comments or share or make your own YouTube video. Um, this is the way that I do it, and it works for me. Um, but, you know, nothing's perfect. This is the way I do it. It's not the simplest, but it, it is it does work. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. To do this, you got to have Business Center. This is version like 4.10 or something like that. I don't know. It's one of the last free versions that I can use that uh, allows me to do this kind of stuff. And then I've got... Uh, 3d office topcon this is free I've tried to share these and stuff in the comments in the past and it's never really worked out good so I will try to I think of a good way if you guys got a suggestion a good safe secure way that I can share access to this kind of stuff um, maybe I'm just doing something wrong but I do my best to get that stuff to you guys and just so, any suggestions there would be appreciated. So, basically what I got here is I wasn't going to make you sit through the whole process, but over here I've just got a GC3 file, which is the calibration file for Topcon. You can see I got my control points. Um, what I did is I went ahead and put all these in, except for point .5 here. I was going to show you how I added that, so I've got the other ones done. So, all I've done to do this is I just go to create point, and so 0.5, I'm going to enter my grid. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. So my, I'm going to be on grid. I'm just going to copy these over here. And I'm just copy pasting these. I'm not doing anything special. Okay. So I've got 0.5 grid, northern east elevation. I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to change this to GPS. Five. That lets me know that I'm going to switch to a global coordinate, and now I'm going to use my lat long height. Maybe. I think I missed a keystroke there. One more time. There we go. Sometimes you forget to take the exclamation point out of there. It'll give you a hard time. So, now I've got that. I'm going to hit add. Oh, so I did already do... Okay, normally that shouldn't pop up. I had done this once before. Apologies, I had already got that one in there. I thought I deleted it out of there so we could um, see this, but maybe I didn't. So now I've got, so if you look at these, there's actually two points there, two points there. Here's my five. So I got my two points. This is just quick check you can do. Two points. Two points. All right. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So now what I'm going to do I'm going to keep this up because I'll need it, but if I go to my field data up here, this is the site calibration. So now I can go over here where it says points list. This is the um, settings we want, points list, but now I can just go, so now I need a GS point, GNSS point, which is my global point. So I have to click on this to get my cursor in there, and it'll just automatically populate those based off me clicking sometimes you want to just make sure you get the same ones here but that's why I like doing the GPS one and then just the regular okay so you can see in here we got all of our points now now this is where this comes in so we have the horizontal ignored on four and five if you come in here you can do vertical only and vertical only. So now we've got both vertical onlys and then everything else on the other. So I can hit compute. So here it spits out 
my residuals. It's a little easier if you click on this little clipboard. It'll pull up a site calibration report, which I like to save a PDF of. If you come down here, then we can see each individual point. So 22 and 23, 41 and 6, 11, 33. See, these are matching up with these residuals. That lets me know I got all my numbers over there correctly and I didn't fat finger something do something wrong. So get that out of the way. So you can save this as a site if you want to. Um, so now I have that as my site. Now this is something that hopefully someone's got an answer for, but um, this is the way I've always had to do it. So now if I come to my project, I go to export. So in here you can do a DC file. There's also a cal file. I don't remember where it is. I kind of just ignored it because I never used it because I never could get it to work. Um, let me find it. I'm trying to remember. Is it in construction? Or is it in construction? Um, this is probably something just with me old running old stuff. Um, I can't remember where the heck it's at. There's a spot you can export a .cal file. Um, and it's not labeled what you think it would be, of course. So you can do a JXL, which I like to use. But what I've been doing is doing it as a DC. I just do select all. And I just map. Let's call it my desktop. We'll call it one, two, three, four. PC. And like I said, this may not be perfect, but this is what works for me. So if you got any suggestions that don't involve spending thousands of dollars for TBC, I'm, I'm open to hearing. Um, so then I hit export. Now I got a DC file. I'll drop this down and pull this DC file over here. So this DC file, all I ever do with this is I just rename it to a 1234.cal. It pops up and gives me a warning. I say, yeah, whatever. And then I, it, so LSS Toolkit's a video I haven't covered that I haven't done, but it's a program out there that'll do the swap for you from a GC3 to a cal. It's a really, it's a good program, but I've just, early on I had some problems with it. Um, and it just, I'm sure it's more functional now, but it's a video that I need to do, but it pops up when the cal files is. But I've dropped this in machines, data collectors, all kinds of different things, and works just fine for me. Um, so that's how I go about getting the cal, that DC file, and that gives me what I need. So, like I said, there may be a better way. If you guys know of one, I'm all ears. Uh, shoot me a message or leave a comment or whatever. Uh, appreciate any feedback I get. I try my best to get you guys good information and help however. Um, I appreciate everybody subscribing. That's pretty cool. Just hit a thousand uh, subscribers. So, yeah, appreciate the feedback. I'll do my best to engage as much as possible. If you guys got a video that you want to see or something I'm maybe able to help with, let me know. I've got a list uh, that I keep that I try to get done whenever I get free time, which isn't as much as I'd like it to be, but. So if you got anything that could be real pressing, um, and, you know, I appreciate all the guys who message me and leave comments and stuff. I'll do my best to get whatever I can out there, but if something kick, something's kicking your butt, let me know, and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, you all have a good one.